continuous performance test, or a CPT, evaluates behavior on an ongoing basis. Rather than asking one question, waiting and asking another, a continuous performance test runs the clock continuously. All kinds of tasks can be completed with a continuous performance test. At Nesplora, we have developed a continuous performance test that measures a variety of important human behaviors. How well someone pays attention, how well they organize information, even how well they keep their eyes and their minds focused on a particular stimulus, such as a teacher or a fish in an aquarium. We learn how the brain works. We learn how individuals orient and decide what to pay attention to and how to respond to whatever it is they're paying attention to accurately. The first continuous performance tests were used to measure schizophrenia. Uh, then a number of researchers decided that they could measure other populations, particularly individuals experiencing difficulty paying attention for longer periods of time. The 1-9 continuous performance test, that is, watch for numbers appearing on the screen when you see the 1 be ready when the 9 comes next, was the first standardized continuous performance test. The original tests were completed on mechanical wheels, then slides, then with the advent of technology, the continuous performance test moved into the virtual world. The first tests making an effort to identify problems that people with poor self-discipline uh, or impulse control difficulty or challenges paying attention. Many of the problems people with ADHD experience but also experienced by people with depression and anxiety uh, and even the aging problems related to Alzheimer's and dementia. Those first tasks were completed face-to-face -face with paper and pencil. People were asked to complete mazes or connect numbers. Uh, we made efforts to try and identify and understand weaknesses without really understanding what we were measuring or how to best measure it. With the advent of technology, we've come to understand that we can more efficiently and effectively define and, and identify problems with attention, with impulse control, with excessive motor movement, with difficulty of following instructions and completing tasks. The virtual environment offers uh, a new platform, a new frontier to better understand, evaluate, and intervene or treat people uh, with attention and related problems.